How you doing? Specifically for the teacher training circle. A few ideas that I came across during my TEFL certification courses called ESA stands for Engage, Study, Activate. This is the proven three phases that you combine in a template for lesson plans. Now I'm just going to get right into it and we can elaborate on all of these a little bit later. But essentially the engage phase is something to get your class or student to think about the topic or subject of learning at hand. So obviously first you have to have a subject of learning and a topic for the subject in order to engage the audience, student, or group into the lesson plan. So one of the surefire ways of doing this is to use what I call the gather round technique. And this was taught to me by Master Ian Armstrong of Namyang Kung Fu Retreat over there in Thailand. Okay, there we go. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Anyway. And this gather round technique is essentially the best way at going from the engage phase with a transition into the study phase that is absolutely seamless. Okay, so engage phase. What is the engage phase again? We covered that already. It is getting the group, student, or audience to think about, think about. You have to cause some way of them thinking. Get somebody up into the front of the class, say, hey, this is what we're going to be working on today. Please, uh, can anybody demonstrate it? Or, even better, you demonstrate it yourself, then ask if everybody understands. If they understand, then you call up somebody randomly, perhaps somebody you think doesn't actually understand, to come and demonstrate it in front of the group. Once they demonstrate it correctly or incorrectly, you then go from there. You can have them demonstrate it correctly and then correct them even further in front of the group to let them know, hey, these are a few key points that we should all be focusing on while we're doing this, or they'll do it completely wrong and you'll be like, actually, that wasn't what I was saying at all. I'd note here, to create a more learning conducive environment, it would be best to avoid harsh statements. And unfortunately, the learning process is a very delicate one. So just saying the word wrong creates a harsh learning environment, okay? It's better to say something like, that's not quite what I was getting at or trying to demonstrate. Let me show you this, 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 or this. Let me fix you up a little bit and then let's try the demonstration again or the elicited response again. All right, back to the original. This is what I was actually saying to be working on and now does everybody have a clear understanding of what we're doing? If nobody says no, <laughs> then that's usually a yes. Everybody understands. And this creates a platform for free study. So you release them into partners or solos, solo training, whatever. And this way, if you see somebody not practicing, you already have the platform created to where you can approach them and say, what's going on? Do you need some help or do you not understand this? Do I need to help you? Right? And so essentially, you cannot have the seamless transition from the engage 
phase to the study phase without the use of this one simple technique called the gather round technique. Have everybody show up, bow in first in formation. Okay, that establishes the order following the codes of conduct, etc., etc. You then have them break the code of conduct by following the code of conduct, which is listening to you, the, the teacher of the class. All right, everybody, just come a little closer. Make sure you can see me before I give this demonstration. Okay, here's the demonstration. Can you show me? Elicit the response from a student. Whether you want the student to display confidently the demonstration or you specifically want a weaker student to display errors that will then be corrected in front of is totally up to you. Do what you think is more needed for the time. If you have newer students, perhaps you want to bring somebody who's a confident demonstrator. If you have new students, but it's not everybody's first time, then maybe, or it's a topic that you are reiterating on or reviewing, then maybe bring somebody up who should have learned it the last time to demonstrate and fix errors on, right? So that is my introduction to the Engage Study Activate teaching that I have applied to my Kung Fu and Qigong training to date. So hopefully this helps you all. I tried to make this as short as possible. If you got any questions, need any additional little tidbits, yep, I'm, uh, I'm having a pretty good morning this morning so far. My little planty's over there in the windsill. I scored some aloe barbadensis miller. I know that's why you guys are all watching this video to hear me talk about my plants. So, peace guys. Peace. Peace family.